immediate tax-free growth on money put into this. In this episode, I'm going to address the question, which type of life insurance policy generates immediate cash value? So my name's Doug Andrew. I've been a financial strategist, retirement planning specialist for more than 46 years, and I've helped thousands of people select the right type of life insurance based upon their objectives. Now, most people came to me as a financial planner. They really didn't want or need more life insurance when they usually came in. They wanted a place to put their money and I would say, what are your priorities? And I would list them because sometimes people don't know the vernacular, the terminology, the lingo. And so I would list what's most important to you. And by and large, if they understood money, liquidity was number one. Now, a lot of people don't think about this, but liquidity means the ability to access your money when you need it with an electronic funds transfer phone call without triggering a bunch of tax or penalties from the institution or the IRS or whatever. The second thing that people wanted was safety. People don't like to lose money. And so they wanted safety, not only of the institution, but whenever they set aside money, they, they didn't want to lose principle. A lot of them didn't understand that every year you make money, you can actually lock in that gain until I taught them about this. The third thing down the list was rate of return. Now, a lot of them put that number one. That's not the most important. It's third down the list. What rate of return am I going to get? And the fourth factor is, is it taxed as earned or is it tax deferred or is it totally tax free? There's a huge difference between those three types of tax scenarios. And so I began to point them to vehicles that passed the liquidity, safety, rate of return and tax advantage test with flying colors. And most investments that people think about don't even come close. When it comes to insurance, when people said, I want to retire with this much income and da, 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 I go, well, you're going to be shocked. The best way to accomplish that is in a max funded indexed UL universal life insurance contract. They go, what? I don't need any more insurance. I said, well, what does that have to do with it? Let me show you the differences here. And when they would see that an IRA or 401k or a mutual fund earning 12% because of taxes on the back end, whatever, it, they would all run out of money at age 76, age 78, age 81, and a max funded IUL based on actual historical performance would go on till age 120. And I would cover up what it was. And I'd say, so which one do you want? They go, duh, this one. And then I'd uncover it and they go, wait a minute, that's an insurance policy? And I go, they go, well, I don't need insurance. <laughs> I go, what, what does that have to do with it? Look at what it does. Quit getting hung up on what it is. Uh, if you don't need any more insurance, make me the beneficiary, but enjoy all the tax-free income. They go, oh no, no, yeah, yeah, we, we'll, we'll take it if we don't have to pay for it. Well, nothing's free, but it was being paid for with otherwise payable income tax they would pay on other investments. So when people ask the question, which type of life insurance uh, creates the immediate cash value, it's not so much the type, but it is actually how you're funding it. So let me explain. So listen again, it's not so much the type of life insurance, but how you structure it and how you fund it. So let me explain this. Many times I ask people, what is the objective here? And they said, well, maybe it's for death benefit. But if you're asking the question, which type of life insurance uh, generates immediate cash value, that is permanent insurance. It's either whole life or it's universal life. And there are several different types of uh, whole life and universal life. There's fixed, there's variable, there's participating, interest sensitive, whole life and so forth. With universal life, there's generally fixed, variable and indexed. Now, I prefer index universal life, which actually started out in 1997. Prior to that, I owned regular universal life because it started in 1980. Now, in a nutshell, whole life was generally created for death benefit. It can be used for retirement, but the income generated out of a whole life policy is not near as good or predictable and usually not near as high of a payout 
as the same amount of money that you would put into a universal life because universal life was originally designed to be for living benefits to use the money tax free and so the unique feature of permanent life insurance whole life or universal life is that it allows money inside the insurance policy to accumulate tax free that's under section 72 e of the internal revenue code and then if you need to access it while you're still alive there is a smart way to do it and you can do that under section 7702 of the internal revenue code which allows you to access money tax free and then when you ultimately do die whatever's in there blossoms in value and transfers income tax free but see usually with whole life insurance people are trying to get the amount of insurance death benefit they want and they usually say what's the least premium i can pay to make sure i'm covered for my whole life it's a different dynamic in how you structure it when ef hutton came out with universal life they said wait a minute let's use it for a living benefit let's take the least amount of insurance that the irs will let us get away with and uh, put in the most money the irs allows as fast as they allow and this thing turns into a tax-free cash cow and it allows you on every million dollars in my lifetime with my clients every million dollars could generate uh, 60 to a hundred thousand dollars a year of tax-free income into perpetuity whether it was fixed or if it was indexed if you have indexed universal life generally speaking you could probably plan on more of an eight to ten percent payout that a million dollars would generate eighty thousand a year of tax-free income most whole life if you tried to do that a million dollars of cash value inside a whole life insurance policy may only generate 30 or 40,000 a year of income would you rather have 40,000 or would you rather have 80,000 that is accomplished with universal life universal life you generally you earn uh, higher uh, rates of return and consistently it's more flexible you can put in more money you can put it in faster because it was designed primarily for living benefits to accumulate cash value now what a lot of insurance agents actually don't realize is with universal life you could put in a hundred thousand a year for five years and people say whoa why are you doing that because you want that half a million to double to a million in seven to ten years and, and let's say you retire then and you want that million to generate eighty to a hundred thousand a year of tax-free cash flow into perpetuity if you live to be 120. that's what universal life can do the question was what type of life insurance accumulates immediate cash value well, if you are putting in the most the IRS allows, let's say 100,000 is the most under the way you're, you've structured yours. There's nothing magic about 100,000, but you can learn in other uh, episodes on this channel about what these parameters are. These are tax citations, TEFRA, DEFRA, and TAMRA. So search that. When you maximum fund it, if you put in $100,000, you have 70,000 in most situations of immediate access to cash value. You actually have 100,000 of accumulation value. Uh, maybe if you canceled the policy, you would only get 70,000, but you're earning interest on the 100,000. There's costs of insurance that are required there so that it qualifies to be tax-free. So maybe the very first year there's 95,000 and so forth. But if people want 100% access to 100% of what they paid, then you can get a rider and the rider waives the surrender charge, but there's always a trade-off. So if we had a business owner uh, come and they wanted 100% access, in other words, if they put in 100,000 in premiums, they have at the end of the year, $100,000 of cash value that's surrenderable. In other words, if they cancel, they could get it. They just simply add a rider, which is a waiver of that fee, but there's a trade-off. If they keep that going forever, they're gonna suffer down the road with rate of return by maybe a half a point. Maybe you don't think that's significant, but it will end up costing them maybe five or 10% of what they could have had in tax-free income down the road. If they could have taken out, let's say a, a hundred thousand a year on a million dollar account, maybe they can only take out 95,000 a year the rest of their life. So there's always a trade-off. Uh, if you uh, cannot accept that, hey, if I put in money, if I put in a hundred thousand a year for five years, 
And if you needed the whole 500,000 at that point, oh yeah, you can get it. There's a smart way to get it. You can learn about the sad, smart, and dumb way to access money in other episodes on this channel. But see, you can put in a half a million over five years and you can go grab your half a million. So the type of life insurance isn't so much what's critical, it's how you fund it. Are you maximum funding it? Or are you paying the, the least amount of premium just for the death benefit? Those take a long time to accumulate cash value. When we maximum fund an indexed UL, it has tremendous liquidity and the cash surrender value begins to accumulate instantly. And you can even have 100% access to 100% of your premium if you're a business owner on the front end, but be willing to give up a little bit of the rate of return on the back end. So if you're watching this and going, whoa, wait a minute, I've never heard of this before. Uh, you're not alone. And so this has motivated me to write 11 books thus far. And my goal is to write a book every year the rest of my life. I want you to learn. So if this has intrigued you, my 11th book, my most recent bestseller is called The Laser Fund. Now, LASER is an acronym that stands for Liquid Asset Safely Earning Returns. This book teaches how to diversify and create the foundation for a tax-free retirement. This is actually two books in one. This one is 200 pages, uh, 14 chapters with all kinds of charts and graphs and explanations. But if you like to learn by stories, you flip it over and read this 100 pages, 12 chapters with 62 actual client stories. If you wanna use your whole brain, the right brain and the left brain, I would recommend you read both books. But uh, don't pay $20 retail for this. Um, I wanna gift you one free. To claim your free copy of the book, simply go to laserfund.com, laserfund.com, and you simply pay $5.95 shipping and handling, and I'll fire out a copy to you. That doesn't even quite cover our cost for that, but there's also other options in there for you to learn with video and audio, and so we usually come out ahead. My goal right now, I'm 68, I want to empower and educate people. So claim your free copy, go to laser, L-A-S-E-R, fun.com, and uh, you will learn more about what I've been talking about.